So we're going to show you how to set up uh, contact sharing uh, through Google so that you've got an equivalent of uh, Outlook or Exchange's global address list. Now, let me show you where that lives. If you go into uh, Contacts, and down the left-hand side here, uh, you've got a thing called Directory. And by default, uh, the directory, once you've got the contact manager turned on, shows you all of your uh, contacts inside of the same organization. Now to get that piece to work, we must install and ensure we have the contacts application installed. So to do that, we're going to go to manage this domain and we're going to log in. And then doing so underneath Google Apps, we need to ensure that we have the contacts application installed. If it's not there, click on the add services link and you'll find under there that uh, one of these will be uh, Google Contacts. So just click Add on there and that will bring it in for you. Inside of the Contacts application, uh, we must make sure that we have a particular setting in place. That setting is to enable contact sharing, show all email addresses, and then show both domain profiles and domain shared contacts. This is the one that allows you to have external contacts in your address book, as well as just your own, uh, uh, your own company information. And once you've done that, you can now share some contacts. Now here's the trick. Google doesn't currently enable you to administer that without using the API or a third party tools. You can't do this in the admin. You can't do this through the contact manager in your webmail. So what we have to do is install an application to deal with that. So we're going to go to the Apps Marketplace and through there there are a number of applications that you can choose from. However at the moment the uh, application that is free and allows you to do this is called Flash Panel. You get a number of other uh, features with Flash Panel that you can use if you'd like, but for the purposes of this demonstration, Flash Panel will do. And it's free to install and it's free to use for this particular piece of functionality. So we'll click Edit Now, and we're going to agree to the terms, and then we need to accept uh, Flash Panel's uh, privacy and access uh, policies. Now it looks like quite a lot, and that's because it needs access to things like spreadsheets and calendars and Contacts is the one we need, um, and the reason for that is that it has a lot more functionality than just contacts. So we're going to click Grant, and that will take us back to the admin panel, and it will show us uh, the settings that we've built. Now, just in case you want to and you don't like the solution delivered here, you can come back to this and click, click uh, Delete Flash Panel. And just to uh, show you where that actually is, from your admin console, Click on more controls at the bottom, go to Marketplace Apps, and there is a Flash Panel. Once a Flash Panel is installed, the easiest way of getting to it is to go back to your uh, Gmail and refresh the page. Once you've refreshed it, in the uh, application icon up the top here, you can then find Flash Panel right down the bottom. So there it is again, into the applications, click on more, and then we go to Flash Panel down the bottom. You can see that Flash Panel is syncing a bunch of information between itself and Google Apps. That'll take a few minutes, and it will work out what's going on. In the meantime, we can go to Directory and Contacts, and we're going to create a contact. Now here's the get started walkthrough, which uh, makes it nice and easy. Now, in this case, we're going to add myself. Once we're done, we're going to click create contact. Now we have that contact, we need to tell Flash Panel that it needs to sync those into the global directory. So we're going to go back to contacts and click share contacts by tag. And as you can see, you select the tag that you want to share, you choose the users with whom to share that tag, and then the contacts with that tag are now shared. 
This means you can create granular sharing of different contacts for different purposes. But right now we're going to share all of the contacts we have into the directory. And that is this Google Shared Contacts. Now it's a system tag, so we're going to click on that one. And as it says, it's a system tag. Contacts with this tag are added to the domain's Google Apps directory. Flash Panel also creates a contact group in Gmail labeled Google Shared Contact and adds tagged contacts to that group. So let's click on Add Users. We'll see all the users that we've got. So let's just uh, go through this list, add all of our users. And we've only got about 10, so it won't take a second. Here we go. And we're going to hit Save. Now once we've done that, uh, that little shared there will turn to yes uh, in a few minutes. Finally, to decide where you're going to get these contacts to be shared, you need to select and tag each of the contacts. We're going to use the Google Shared Contact, uh, which is the system tag, and hit tag. That'll add the tags to it, and they're ready to sync. Now, once Flash Panel has done its uh, synchronization with the directory, if you come back and have a look into your contacts area in Gmail, you'll see that you now have a shared contacts tag, and there's our dummy contact that we created uh, over in Flash Panel, and then also my record as well. In the directory area, you'll have all of your internal domain contacts. The benefit of it being a separate tag and not inside of the directory is that it will actually sync through into your contact list on your mobile devices. So there you go, quick intro into using Flash Panel and the directory to manage shared contacts. Thanks for watching.